Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a new problem which is based on straight transition matrix but in state space analysis. The problem number 8 with that we are going to study. So let's see the question first. Obtain state transition matrix for the state model in state space where so the state matrix is given A is 0, 1 in first row and minus 1 and minus 2 elements are in second row. Now we will use that formula that is e to the power 80 which is nothing but a Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse. I'm going to substitute this value in that formula then we'll find out the inverse of SI minus A and then we'll move on to a Laplace transform. This is our state transition matrix. Now I am going to substitute this A matrix value in my SI minus A inverse. Now this is the formula to obtain straight transition matrix. Now how to obtain straight transition matrix? Just take the Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse where S into I, this S is multiplied with a unity matrix and this state transition matrix or state matrix is subtracted from your S into I product matrix. So first of all we will find out that and then we will move on to inverse of it. Now just multiply this S with this identity or unity matrix. So S into 1 is S but S into 0 is 0 so you will get now I will subtract this whole state matrix from your S into I product. So we know that. How to perform this subtraction? The first element of first row. First element of first. We are going to perform subtraction like first element. This first element is subtracted from first. The second element is subtracted from second. Now again we will do the same thing. In second row also the first element is subtracted from first element and the second element is subtracted from second element. So what is the answer after subtraction s minus 0 is s this was our first element of first row 0 minus of 1 is minus 1 0 minus of minus 1 is 1 and s minus of minus 2 is s plus 2 and this is nothing but my si minus a matrix now we will find out the inverse of it what is the next thing? We are going to find out the inverse of SI minus A and what is the formula? The formula is we are going to find out first of all adjoint of SI minus A and then determinant of SI minus A. This is the formula for SI minus A inverse. So first of all we will find out the determinant of SI minus A. Now how to find out determinant? We will multiply S into S plus B which is A into D and then I am going to subtract the next value C into B that is 1 minus 1 will be subtracted from these two product. Now what you will get after multiplication? s into s is s square and s into 2 is 2s. Now minus of 1 is minus 1 but if I take it outside then this will become plus 1. So this is nothing but my si minus a determinant. Now we will move on to adjoint. Now how to perform adjoint of si minus a? I am going to exchange these two values. s plus 2 will be placed at a plus and s will be placed at b plus and I will multiply minus sign with this c and b. So this is how we are going to perform adjoint. Now we will substitute both this value in my formula. So let's say this is nothing but my formula number 1. So I will substitute both this value that is SI minus A determinant and adjoint of SI minus A but in formula number 1. So look at here. I have multiplied adjoint and the determinant value. Now what is the next step? We are going to find out the straight transition matrix and what is the formula? e to the power 80 is equal to Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse. So first of all I will multiply this value inside this matrix. First of all, I will find out the factors of s square plus 2s plus 1 because it is important while calculating the inverse Laplace transform of all these functions. 
so what are the factors as i told you this last term is always product of two digit whereas mid term is always the addition of two digits now how to find out the factors basically this is nothing but the s plus 1 the whole square equation or you can say a plus b the whole square equation where my a is s and my b is 1 so i can replace this whole denominator like So I'll substitute this whole equation in my formula that is straight transition matrix formula. I have substituted my SI minus A inverse over here and now we are going to find out the Laplace inverse. Now let's substitute this whole elements by some different variables. So for first element I have chosen F511 of S. Why is it written 11? One, one? Because this is the element of first row and first column. Next one is 12. 12 one, two stands for this is the element of first row and second column. 21 stands for this is the element of second row and first column. That's why I've written 21. And the last one is a second row and second column. That's why I've written 22. Now if I apply a Laplace inverse. Now, if I apply Laplace inverse on whole matrix, then the outcome is, so Laplace inverse of 511 of S is 511 of T. So, similarly, we will find out the Laplace inverse of rest of three elements. Now, this is my equation number 2 because I am going to substitute the Laplace inverse of 511, 512, 521 and 522 but in equation number 2 so that you will get the answer in straight transition matrix so first of all we will find out the laplace inverse of 511 of s now we will find out the laplace inverse of 511 of s so first of all what is the function the 511 of s is s plus 2 upon s plus 1 the whole square now here we have a two factors the first factor is s plus 1 and another one is s plus 1 the whole square so i'm going to represent or i'm going to use a two constant let's say first constant is a and another one is b now what you are going to do i'm going to multiply this whole value on this right hand side now just do the cross multiplication what will happen this s plus 1 the whole square is multiplied on right hand side so i can say that one element of s plus 1 will get cancelled the second element will be multiplied with a but look at here the s plus 1 whole square and s plus 1 whole square will get cancelled so we will get answer only of b now what to do only substitute the s value equals to minus 1 first of all so that automatically this a term will get vanished because minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0 and 0 into anything is always 0 so this whole a term will be replaced by 0 i'm not going to write that value now if i multiply s plus 1 whole square on right hand side i have got this type of equation because s plus 1 s plus 1 will get cancelled one s plus 1 will be there which is in multiplied with a now with b the whole s plus 1 will square will get cancelled so we'll have only b and now this will be our equation now if i substitute s equals to minus 1 then what will happen minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0 so whole a term will get my vanish now i'm not going to write that value now we'll substitute this s equals to minus 1 on the left and right hand side so if this s is replaced by minus 1 then what you will get 2 minus 1 becomes 1 and this is nothing but the value of b now what to do if i substitute s equals to 0 then on the left hand side you will have only 2 on the right hand side what you will get this s is replaced by 0 so a is multiplied with 1 so you will get a and the last one is b now already we have calculated value of b i'll substitute this value over here or else you can do one thing just shift this b on the left hand side so what you will get 2 minus b and i'll substitute this value 1 over here if i substitute 1 over here then 2 minus 1 becomes 1 so my a value is now 1 now i'll substitute both a and b value in my equation now i'll substitute my a and b value in this 511 of s equation now i will apply inverse laplace transform on both the sides
So what will happen? If I apply Laplace inverse on phi one one of s, we can write this one is phi one one of t. Now one upon s plus one. If I apply Laplace inverse on one upon s plus one, then what will happen? You can see here the s is advanced by one. So we will use here time shifting property. And it is nothing but e to the power t. This t is basically multiplied with the opposite sign value of plus 1. Here the delayed or advanced value is plus 1. So opposite sign value is minus 1. So if I multiply minus 1 with the t, you will get minus t. Now, this one is removed. What is remaining 1 by s? And we know that Laplace inverse of 1 by s is nothing but always unit step. Now, we'll move on to next. Now, here, look at here. We have 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square. If we have a square or if we have any power in the denominator term, then always we will use a differentiation property. Now, we will find out the Laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square. Now, if we have a power in the denominator, then of course, we will use a time differentiation property. And according to time differentiation property, we will use one formula that is t to the power n is always n factorial upon s raised to n plus 1. This is the Laplace transform of t to the power n. Now, look at here. What is the power in the denominator? It is 2. So, if I equate n plus 1 equal to 2, then what you will get n value is 1. So, the s plus 1, the whole square, this whole square can be represented by t in Laplace inverse. So, this t whole square is removed. Now, what about 1 upon s plus 1? We have already calculated this value e to the power minus t u of t. Now, if we want, then you can take u of t common. Now, this is the Laplace inverse of first element that is 5, 1, 1 of t. Now, we will find out the similar one that is a Laplace inverse of all the rest of the elements. We will find out the Laplace inverse of 5, 1, 2 of s that is the second element. What we have 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square. Now, what are the elements of this factor or the denominator? We can write s plus 1 and s plus 1 the whole square because I am going to use a two constants that is a and b. Now we will do the same thing. I will multiply this left hand side denominator on right hand side. Then what you will get? If I multiply this left hand side denominator on right hand side, then 1 s plus 1 will get cancelled. So a is multiplied with single s plus 1. But look at it in b. Now the whole s plus 1 whole square will get cancelled. So you will get only b. Now we will substitute the different values of s so that you will get the answer of all the constant a and b one by one. So first of all, we will substitute s equals to minus 1. Now if I substitute s equals to minus 1 over here, then minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0 and 0 into a becomes 0. So automatically we have b is equals to 1. Now how to get the value of a? Simply I will substitute s equals to 0. If I substitute s equals to 0 over here, then this s is replaced by 0. So what you will get? a is multiplied 1. So you can say that 1 is equals to a plus b will be my equation. Now, I will shift this b on left hand side. Now, if I substitute my b value, that is 1 over here, then 1 minus 1 becomes 0. So automatically my a value also gets vanished. And here I will get a is equals to 0 only. Now, I will substitute both a and b value in my 5 and 2 of s equation. Now, if I substitute a equal to 0 over here, then 0 upon anything is always 0. So, we will get only answer of b and it is... Now... What we can do? If apply a Laplace inverse on both the sides, then now the Laplace inverse of 5 and 2 of s is 5 and 2 of t. Now, 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square. Now basically we have solved this part. If we have a power in the denominator or if we have a power 
in one of the factors of denominator then we will use a differentiation property and as i told you earlier also the property is So we, if we compare this denominator with this answer, then we will have a 2 over here. And if I compare with n plus 1, so you will get n value equals to 1. So I can write here only t to the power 1 or else you can write t only. Now, this square term is now removed. What is remaining? 1 upon s plus 1. And 1 upon s plus 1 is always e to the power t into u of t. So, this part we have already calculated in the last part also. Now, this is our 5 and 2 of t. We will move on to next term that is 5 and 3 of t. Now, 5 and 2 of s is equal to minus 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square. We will find out the Laplace inverse of this element. First of all, we will find out the factors. How many factors are there? We have a two factors in denominator. So, we will use a two different element. Let us say a and b. Now, again do the same thing, we will cross multiply these two values or you can say that. Now, we will multiply left hand side denominator on right hand side. Then what you will get? On left hand side, you will have only minus 1. But look at on right hand side. This s plus 1 whole square is multiplied with this whole a and b element. Now, this one s plus 1 element get cancelled. But a is multiplied with single s plus 1 element. And with b, the whole s plus 1 whole square whole square will get cancelled. So, you will have only b at the end. Now, I will substitute different values of s. So, that you will get the constant value a and b. So, first of all, I will substitute s equals to minus 1. If I substitute s equals to minus 1, then automatically this whole a term will get vanished. because minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0 and 0 into a is always 0 on the left hand side we have minus 1 and after removing this value we will have a b only on right hand side so this is nothing but my value of b similarly we will calculate the value of a but after substituting s equals to 0 now if i substitute s equals to 0 over here then 0 plus 1 is 1 so we will have a plus b on right hand side and left hand side we already have minus 1. Now we have already calculated the value of b. So I will shift this b on left hand side. Now if I substitute a b value over here. Then look at here minus 1. And this sign we have minus. So minus and minus will be plus And 1 minus 1 becomes 0. So I can say that my a value is 0. If I substitute both this value in this equation, then my phi 2 1 of s is this a is 0. So I can write 0 upon anything is always 0. And we have s plus 1 the whole square. So what is remaining? minus 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square. Now, just simply apply inverse Laplace transform on both the sides. So, phi to 1 of s, if I take inverse Laplace transform of phi to 1 of s, then, then you will get phi 21 of t. Now, this minus 7 is constant, so I will write outside. Now, 1 upon s plus 1 whole square. We have calculated the inverse Laplace transform of this 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square in the last page. And the answer was. Now, this is the value of phi 2 1 of t. Now, we will find out the next value that is inverse Laplace transform of phi 2 2 of s. Now, the last term that is phi 2 2 of s and the element is s upon s plus 1 the whole square. Now, again here we have a two factors. So, we will use a two elements. Let us say a and b. Now, we will do the same thing. Again, we will multiply left hand side denominator on right hand side. So, what will be the equation? Look at here. On left hand side, we will get only s and s plus 1 whole square will multiply on right hand side. Now, 1 s plus 1, 1 s plus 1 will get cancelled. So, a is multiplied with single s plus 1. Now, look at here on b. Now, here we have s plus 1 the whole square and here also we have the s plus 1 the whole square. So, both the terms will get cancelled. So, you will get answer of only. Now, we will substitute the values of s so that you will get the answer of a and b one by one. So, first of all, I will substitute s equals to minus 1.
Now, if I substitute s equals to minus 1, then look at here. Minus 1 and plus 1 become 0. So, whole a term will get vanished. So, what you will get? I will replace this s by minus 1, which is on left hand side. And on right hand side, you will get only answer of b. So, this is nothing but my value of b, which is minus 1. Now, I will substitute s equals to 0. If I substitute s equals to 0 on both the sides, then what we will get? This whole s is replaced by 0. So, 0 plus 1 is 1 and a into 1 is a. And then we will write b. Now, on left hand side, what we have? Here we have s and if s is replaced by 0, so I will write only 0 over there. Now, we have already calculated my b value. So, I will shift this b on left hand side. So, I will get minus b. But the b value is minus 1. So, if I substitute that value over here, then minus of minus 1 is plus 1. So, my a value is 1 only. Now, I will substitute my b value and a value in this equation. Now, I will apply inverse Laplace transform on this equation. So, inverse Laplace transform of phi to 2 of s is, is phi to 2 of t. Now, the 1 upon s plus 1 we have. The inverse Laplace of it is, we have already calculated this value, 1 upon s plus 1 and 1 upon s plus 1, the whole square in last three elements. That is the inverse Laplace of these two elements. So, we will use that whole answer as it is. Now, here we have a constant term that is minus 1. So, minus 1 I will write outside. And we know that 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square. It is nothing but. And this is my phi to 2 of t. Now, I will substitute all the values in my equation number 2. That is in straight transition matrix. Now, I have substituted my all the values of phi 1 to phi 1 1, phi 2 1 and phi 2 2 of t values in my straight transition matrix. So, this is the, my straight transition matrix. Now, look at here. Here from this whole straight transition matrix, you can take e to the power minus t u of t common. So, what will be there inside this matrix? Look at here. Here you will get 1 plus t only. Now, here you will get only t. Here we will have minus t. And at the end here you will get 1 minus of t. So, this is all about straight transition matrix. Now, we will study a next numerical that is how to find out the state vector x. But in next video. But for that, stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.